Hey sci-fi and fantasy lovers, Foxfire's here, and today I'm sharing with you a short sneak peek from Ben Aronovich's urban fantasy novella called The October Man, coming out June 13th. The story's set in the same universe as his best-selling River of London series. If you're not familiar with the series, you may know him best for his work in the Doctor Who universe. He wrote Remembrance of the Daleks, Battlefield, and also the Doctor Who audio drama called Earth Aid. So to set the context of the novella, Trier is famous for wine, Romans, and being Germany's oldest city. So when a man is found dead with his body impossibly covered in a fungal rot, the local authorities know they are out of their depth. Fortunately, this is Germany, where there are procedures for everything. Enter investigator Tobias Winter, whose aim is to get in, deal with the problem, and get out with the minimum of fuss, personal danger, and paperwork. With the help of frighteningly enthusiastic local cop Vanessa Summer, he's quick to link the first victim to a group of ordinary middle-aged men, and to realize they may have accidentally reawakened a bloody conflict from a previous century. But the rot is still spreading, literally, and with the suspect list extending to people born before Frederick the Great, solving the case may mean unearthing the city's secret magical history. So long as that history doesn't kill them first. Ben gave a sneak peek of the novella during Galance's 2019 preview. I shot it on my Canon G16, so apologies in advance for the rougher audio. It settles down after a bit. Without further ado, I give you Ben Aronovich on The October Man, opening with his thoughts on Tobias Winter. The only, the only appeared as a, a sort of like, a kind of like 300 word little sub fiction I did put on my website because I, I, he just didn't want to go away and I put him on the website and I thought I would shut him up for a bit, but no! That just made it worse. And also because in a very meretricious part, Germany is my second largest market. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, aha! <laughs> uh, I love the Germans, they pay full price for them. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, I thought, but also, I, you know, because I was going to Germany quite a lot, you know, because of the books now, because it's my second largest market, I was getting invited over, and, and I don't know, they, you know I, I think it was a load of shorts, well, I don't know. Anyway, it was just, it just seemed like a good idea, and so I came up with the idea of some novellas that would tackle some of the, the minor characters so they could get them sort of like day in the sun and shut up for five minutes. It hasn't worked with him. I don't think it will work with any of the other characters either. Um, and so that is why you, uh, the, this year's novella, because they're going to be a yearly thing, you get used to it, um, is about Tobias Winter, who I'm going to mispronounce this, uh, 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 an officer in the Arbeitung uh, KDA, which is the German equivalent of the poly. Uh, and so therefore that's where he comes from. And, and he has, I liked him because he wasn't Peter. It was nice to write a character who wasn't Peter. As you can hear, he's much more kind of laconic. He didn't really want to learn magic. He, but being a good German, when he was told to learn magic, he learned magic. He <laughs> uh, um, he, he, he's kind of like, he carries a flamethrower in the car, by the way. <laughs> There's very few things you can't deal with with a flamethrower. And there's more forests in Germany, I think that's why you've got a flamethrower. <laughs> uh, and so that, that's the bias which I'm you might have picked up from the clip that Ben is the kind of man who's naturally hilarious without even trying. Even like casual conversation with him is funnier than stand-up comedy. And that talent for humor really shows in his storytelling. I love Ben's portrayal of Tobias here that he's this character in Ben's mind who just won't shut up. Uh, how Ben did everything to try to shut him up, and in the end had to give him his own novella. Magic and a flamethrower in Tobias's trunk? The October Man sounds like a really fun read. What do you guys think? And if you like this sneak peek video, ring the notification bell to let you know when I post the next one of these. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Fox Byers, and this has been an author preview in my review and reenactment series.